I wanted to go to a slaughterhouse and I wanted to see exactly what was happening there and I wanted to do a little bit of filming. I went to the holding areas. I saw that these animals were really, really terrified and somehow they all knew what was going on because they would start walking back. Somehow they sensed that something wasn't right. There was a cow that, housed, that was housed individually. This was a huge, beautiful, completely white cow. And she was terrified. Like you could see that she was really, really anxious. She was, she was really afraid. I, I have a feeling that somehow they know. I don't know why they would know, but maybe they can smell the blood. I don't know. But she was really nervous. And we were at the end of the visit, so I asked the guy who was giving me the visit if I could stay there with the cow. So he stayed with me, and we were talking with the cow for about 15 or 20 minutes. I was, he was standing there. She calmed down and I was even petting the cow and, and she really calmed down and she was in much better conditions. But then the next day, when I went to the actual slaughter facility, it came the turn of all of the cows, it came the turn of that white, beautiful cow to go through slaughter. And it was so much harder because the fact that this white cow wasn't, she didn't even fight back like the other cows. She could smell the blood, she could hear the other cows, she knew exactly what was going on. But for some reason, I think she thought that I was going to help her because she came, she, she even like positioned herself, like they didn't have to shove her in too much. The workers were like shoving the other cows and the other cows were getting on their hind legs. They were trying to crawl the wall. And this white cow, she walked straight up to me and she was just staring at me. And then the door, the metal door closed behind her and even with all of that, she was not fighting back. All what she was doing was with her eyes wide open, she was standing still and she was staring at me. She wasn't even blinking. Like she was begging for me to help her. Somehow, she, she probably sensed that I didn't wanna, you know, for, her thus, for this to happen. And obviously, you know, obviously I didn't want that to happen, obviously. Um, but it was so hard because she was just imploring for me to help her and there was absolutely nothing that I could do.